Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Glory. This is Latoya Okia, your life coach and your motivational speaker. Y'all come on in. Come on in, come on in. Um, as you guys are coming into the live, all of my divine ones, I need you to share the live to the group. It's not letting me share anything. So if it'll let y'all share anything, share the live to the group, y'all. I can't get to none of my folks. They just done blocked me all the way out. I tried to share some stuff last night. And um, Facebook said, they basically, they told me, you doing too much. <laughs> I tried to share some stuff last night. They said, you doing too much. I was like, golly. Just done told me I'm doing too much and I can't share nothing. So I need y'all to help me out this morning. As y'all come in, I need y'all to help me push this word out. Okay, I need y'all to help me get it out as many times as they will let you share I need you to share, okay? As many times as they'll let you, I need you guys to share. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So the devil want to try to tell me that we ain't going to have nobody up in here this morning. The devil is like, yeah, I done cut your reach. You can't, you can't share. You can't share to none of these people. I'm going to make it to where can't know none of your people that's up here. They can't share to nobody. They can't share to no groups. So if it will allow you to share, y'all, I need y'all to share. Share this message. Even if they don't get it right now. Even if they don't get it on the live right now, they'll catch it on the replay. So everybody that's coming in right now, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Morning Glory. As y'all come into the live, go ahead and share, y'all. Go ahead and share. Any groups. Any groups that you are a member of, y'all share to the groups that you are a member of. Glory be to God. I'm going to press on. I got to go on. Somebody say, we got to go on anyhow. Glory be to God. We got to go on anyhow. I got to go on. Glory be to God. Y'all know my time. Y'all know I be up here same time every morning. Y'all going to have to... God is God is testing you. This is testing time. And God is God is seeing who gonna fight for this word. Cause see, we ain't got the luxury to sit around and wait on somebody to share in our group no more. And we ain't got the luxury to sit around and wait on somebody to share it on their page and we catch it later or we catch it whenever. But we done got to the time where we gotta fight just to hear the word of God. Glory be to God. Thank you to everybody that's coming in and that's doing your part to share and get the word of God out there. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. Y'all come on in. Come on in. We about to get started with morning glory. But the devil don't stop nothing over here. Glory be to God. He must don't know about me. He must don't know about me, honey. The more he try to stop me, the devil ain't figured it out yet. He ain't figured it out that the more he try to stop me, the harder I go. And that's what I want to tell y'all. The more the devil try to stop you, the harder you better go. You better push even harder. You better really kick it in beast mode then. The more the devil try to fight you, the more you better kick it in beast mode. The more he try to push you out the way, you better push him out the way, okay? The more he try to put that pressure on you, you better be putting that pressure on him. I know it's early. I know it's early in the morning, but the devil don't take no vacations. That enemy that's been whooping on y'all, he don't take no vacations. He don't take no vacations. He don't take no breaks. Uh-uh. He on you 24-7. He don't care if it's 4.30 in the morning. He don't care if it's 5.30 in the morning. Try telling your problems, leave me alone and come back later. It's too early. Uh huh. Try to tell your problems that. Try to tell your problems, it's too early. I ain't got time for all that. It's 5.30 in the morning. I ain't got time. 
try telling your problems that. <laughs> and they still going to come knocking at your door. Because guess what? God said every day y'all get up, you in a battle. Every day you get up, you got to fight. Every day you get up, you going to have to fight. It's not going to be handed to us. Glory be to God. Every day we get up, we got to fight, baby. Every day we get up, we got to put on the whole armor. The whole armor. God said we can't leave off not one piece. Do you understand me? We got to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand in the evil day. Because God said this is the evil day. Glory be to God. This is the evil day. And we got to be able to stand. Everybody that's coming on the live this morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Morning Glory. As you come into the live, y'all go ahead and share, share, share. Glory be to God. It's time to declare the blessings. Do you understand me? It's time to declare the blessings of God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, declare the blessings. Ooh, come in on this live, baby. Uh-huh. Come in on this life. I don't care if I ain't got but two folks in here with me, baby. I'm finna preach this thing like I got two million. Do you understand me? Oh, baby, because the devil don't stop nothing up in here. I kick it even harder when the devil try to mess with my stuff. Uh huh. When he try to mess with my folks. When he try to keep my folks off of that, baby. I go even harder for my folks. You ain't know. Glory be to God. I ain't playing with the devil. I know what to do with him. That's right, baby. Y'all jump on out. Jump on off in this thing. I know it early in the morning. Uh-huh. But we surprising the devil. He ain't expecting you to be up this morning seeking God. He ain't expecting you to be up. Oh, my God. Before the sun rise, you up and you seeking God. Oh, my God. And I hear the Lord say for everybody that seek me, baby. God said, I got something special for you. Oh, my God. God said, I got a blessing. Oh, my God. I got a ram in the bush for you. But you're going to have to press forward. Y'all see the devil ain't going to give it to you. He ain't going to give it to you. Uh-uh. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven suffer violence. And the violent got to take it by force. Do you understand me? We got to take this thing by force. Because the devil ain't just going to give it to you. Oh, my God. He's a dirty fighter. Do you understand me? He he fight. He, he don't fight fair now. If you're looking for a fair fight, don't get in the ring with the devil. Because he ain't going to fight you fair. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. God said, y'all get in the fight, get in the ring with the devil. He going to hit you all up under the belt. He don't, he don't abide by the rules. Do you understand me? He hit you all up under the belt, baby. He'll fight you all in your finances. He fight you all in your marriage. He'll fight you all in your children. The devil will get in your children. Oh my God. He a dirty fighter. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say, don't leave no space for the devil, baby. Do you understand me? Don't you leave no space for the devil. Don't leave no space for him. Kicking in beast mode. All over the devil head. Everybody that's under the sound of my voice, baby, come in on this live. Say beast mode. Uh-huh. Beast mode. And when you come in beast mode, put it in bold. Put it in all caps. Oh, my God. Put that thing in all caps, baby. And put that strong arm emoji up there. Let the devil know. Yeah, it's 530 in the morning. Yeah, it's 430 in the morning. But I'm still in beast mode. Glory be to God. I'm still on beast mode for God. Do you understand me? Because I didn't hit the switch. Oh, my God. I done flipped that switch, baby. And I told y'all on last year, when you flip that switch, don't you cut it off. Oh, my God. That's why you see me at 430, 530 in the morning, baby. And I'll be hyped like it's 430 in the afternoon. Do you understand me? Because God been good to me. I don't know about y'all. You can sleep on him, baby. You keep on sleeping on God. Oh, my God. But God done been too good to me. And when God said, I need you to get up, I need you to get, on, get up and get on morning glory. I said, yes, sir, Lord. Do you understand me? What you need me to do? Um, uh-huh. Because you took care of me. Glory be to God. You healed my body. Glory be to God. You put a roof over my head. Uh-huh. You took care of me and my children. Glory be to God. And not even, and it ain't even about what he did for me. Do you understand me? For the folks that say we serve him for what he do for us. Uh-huh. It ain't even about what God did for me. It's about who he is. Oh, my God. Because the Bible says that he is. Oh, my God. The great I am. <laughs> Glory be to God. God is the great I am, baby. Somebody comment on this live say he is I am. Oh, my God. Whatever you need God to be on this morning. Oh, my God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, whatever you need me to be this morning, baby. God said, drop them affirmations. Do you understand me? What you need God to be? 
Because I declare the blessing over y'all right now in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Oh my God. Because we declaring the blessings of the living God on this live this morning. Uh huh. The devil don't like it. He don't like it. He done got away. I can't even share my own live to my own group. Glory be to God. Y'all press on. If y'all can share this live, y'all share this live. Ain't nobody studying the devil. Bye with your ugly self. Glory be to God. I'm sick of him. He always messing with the people of God. Leave us alone. Glory be to God. Y'all come on in here. Come on in here and get this word. Share this live. Share this live, baby. I know y'all used to catch me at night, but God is doing a new thing. Do you understand me? I hear the spirit of the Lord say, I'm doing a new thing, baby. God, so you can't keep looking for me. See, you want to get comfortable in one spot and you think God going to keep on showing up for you in that spot. But God says, soon as you get comfortable, you're going to miss the move of God. Glory be to God. Soon as you get comfortable, baby, you're going to miss the move of God. Because you over here and God is moving over there. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, drop everything that you got over here and come over here and follow me. Glory be to God. Come over here and follow me, baby. Because God said in order for you to receive the blessings of God, you got to get in position. You got to get in position. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, get in position. Uh huh. You got to position yourself. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, I got to position myself. Oh, I can't sit right over here with y'all no more. God ain't moving over here. God done left this place a long time ago, baby. I got to go where the spirit of the Lord is. Glory be to God. Because the Bible says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Glory be to God. There is liberty. Do you understand me? In other words, wherever God's spirit at, baby, you're supposed to be free. Oh, my God. You're not supposed to be letting nothing bind you. You're not supposed to be letting nothing have no dominion over you. You're not supposed to let sickness have dominion over your body. You're not supposed to let drugs and alcohol have dominion over your body. Glory be to God. Because he whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. God said he freeing y'all this morning. Oh, my God. But God said, baby, how many times do I got to cut you loose? Glory be to God. How many times do I got to free you? Oh, my God. God said, when I heal you, when I touch you, when I heal your body, God said, go and sin no more. Do you understand me? Every time God would heal somebody in the Bible, he would, every time Jesus would begin to heal somebody, he would tell them to go and sin no more. And I hear the spirit of the living God saying to you this morning, God said, baby, go and sin no more. Don't you live in that bondage no more. Don't you live in that captivity no more. Oh my God. Because God has freed you. Every single person that's under the sound of my voice on this morning, I declare the blessings of the living God. I declare the blessings of God over your life right now. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Everybody that watches from the groups, that I, when I share it to the groups, if you watch from the groups, if you catch this on the replay, make sure you go to my personal profile, okay? Make sure you all go to my personal profile and hit follow, okay? Hit follow and turn your notifications on C first so you can always catch the lives directly from my page. Because like I said, as y'all see, they're not letting us share to groups and share to different pages. So you got to make sure that you're turned on to my personal page. So when I hit live, you're going to get that notification. Glory be to God. Because you're going to have to fight for the word. God, the devil ain't just going to let you have it. You're going to have to fight for it. Oh my God, you're going to have to fight for it. And y'all know now, my divine ones, y'all know. It ain't the same when you catch it on the replay. Oh, my God. It ain't the same when you catch it on the replay, baby. You got to get this food while it's hot. Do you understand me? You got to get it while it's coming straight off the throne of God. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Say, get it while it's hot. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, baby, you got to get this thing while it's hot because it's sizzling. Do you understand me? This thing is sizzling this morning. Oh, my God. God sizzling the word up for y'all. He finna serve it up to you too, baby. Oh my God. God gonna serve it up to you, uh-huh, from on high. Glory be to God. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Y'all don't have to push this morning now. Come on now. Y'all ain't moving quick enough for me. I'm on fire for God. I need y'all to catch up. I need you to hurry up. Oh my God. The devil wreaking havoc in your house right now. You don't even know it. Oh my God. You better get in a hurry, baby. You better get on fire for God. Do you understand me? You better kick this thing in beast mode. 
oh my God, I don't get a day of no space in my house. Do you understand me? He might think I'm asleep, but I'm praying and slaying all in my sleep, baby. I'm turning over in the midnight hour saying, Father God, in the name of Jesus, glory be to God. I don't get a day of no space in my house. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, don't you get no space to the devil because you give him an inch, he going to take a mile. Do you understand me? You keep giving the devil an inch and he going to take a mile. You let him get away with one little thing. Next thing you know, he done took over your house. He done took over your whole house. He done took over your whole church. He done took over all your children because you gave him one little bit of, oh my God, you gave him one little bit of permission to do something. And God said what he did was he took that inch and he made it a mile. Glory be to God. He made that inch a mile. Now it's time for you to evict him. Do you understand me? It's time for you to kick the devil out. You got to get out of here. You got to get out of my mind. Oh my God. You got to get out of my heart. I got to be free so I can serve God. Glory be to God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, get out. Get out, devil. Get out of my mind. Oh my God. Get out of my spirit. Do you understand me? Tell the devil, baby, said, because I belong to God. Oh, my God. I am a child of God. I am a child of the most high God. Get out of my mind. Get out of my heart. Get out of my spirit. Oh, my God. Get out of my house. Glory be to God. Some of y'all got to tell the devil, get out of my children. Uh-huh. Get out of my children. You know what your, what your children really act like and what they don't act like. If that ain't who they, if they acting like somebody different, you know that ain't your child. You better tell the devil, get out. Get out of my children. Oh, my God. Tell, somebody need to tell the devil, get out of my wife. Uh-huh. Get out of my wife. Get your filthy hands off of my wife. Somebody need to tell the devil, get out of my husband. Uh-huh. Get your filthy hands off of my husband. Glory be to God. Some of these ministers and pastors need to begin to tell the devil, uh-huh, get out of my ministry. Oh, my God. Get your filthy hands off of my members and get out of my ministry. Glory be to God. And I declare and I decree right now in the name of Jesus, I declare the blessings over every single one of you that are under the sound of my voice. I declare the blessings of the living God. Do you understand me? Divine ones. Oh my God. Divine ones. I declare and I decree. I tell the devil right now, get out of the divine ones. Oh my God. Get your filthy hands off of the, off of the divine ones because they belong to God. Uh-huh. You belong to God, baby. You are a divine one. I told y'all what divine means. Divine means of God, from God, by God. Uh-huh. You in this world, but you are not of this world. Do you understand me? You belong to a higher kingdom. Glory be to God. You belong to a God that sits on high, baby. Woo. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Y'all gonna have to push. Now you got to press. I need y'all to press with me this morning. I need you to push. Do you understand me? Oh my God. I feel God about to birth something beautiful. God is about to birth something beautiful on the inside of y'all. Oh my God. God said, but it's just like when you're in them in the in the labor room. You in labor and delivery. Oh my God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, we in labor and delivery. Oh my God. We in labor and delivery in the spirit on this morning. Do you understand me? We pushing. Oh my God. We pressing, baby. Oh my God. And and I see the head. Oh my God. I see the head about to come forth. Glory be to God. God said you crowning right now. Oh my God. I see the crown on the top of the head. Do you understand me? Cause God said you getting ready to birth something beautiful in this earth realm. God getting ready to birth something amazing on the inside of y'all. But God said I need you to push. Cause God said y'all know that baby can't come into the world unless that mama push. Oh my God. She got to push. Do you understand me? Even though she may be in travail, even though she may be in pain, she got to push. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say y'all in labor and delivery in the spirit on this morning, baby. You got to push. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say push and press. Because God said the devil trying to stop you from your breakthrough, baby. He trying to stop you from your blessing. He all on your job. Uh-huh. He wreaking havoc all on in your finances, in your bank account. He trying to stop you, baby. But you got to push. Glory be to God. Somebody push, baby. Say, I got to push. I'm pushing, Toya. I'm pushing, girl, and I'm pressing, too. You better. Oh, my God. You better push. Do you understand me? You better press. Oh, my God. I'm like that mama. <laughs> I'm like that mama in the delivery room that's holding the foot. Y'all know the mama. The mama The mama be holding the foot, and the husband be holding the other foot. The sister be holding one of the feet. <laughs> 
Glory be to God. And the devil and the, and the doctor and the mama and everybody, what they be saying? Push, baby, push. Oh, my God. You got to push. Do you understand me? Push this thing out. Glory be to God. Because the devil trying to steal it, baby. He trying to take your blessing. But you got to push. Oh, my God. Y'all know push is an acronym for pray until something happens. Glory be to God. God said in the midst of your pushing, baby, you got to keep praying. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. You got to keep on pushing and you got to keep on praying. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say push, pray, and press. Whew. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say push, pray, and and press somebody put that in the comments baby push pray and press glory be to god because the devil ain't gonna give it to you oh no oh no 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 you think because you done had a hard life you think because you done been through some things that somebody going to feel sorry for you? Oh, my God. You think somebody going to feel sorry for you? Oh, no. You think they just going to give it to you? Oh, no, baby. God said you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to claw your way to the top. Do you understand me? God said you're going to have to push and press and pray. And you're going to have to claw your way through the devil territory. Glory be to God. Because guess what, baby? We on the devil territory this morning. Uh-huh. Somebody come in on this live, baby. Said this the devil territory. Uh-huh. But God has given us dominion. Oh, my God. God has given us power. Do you understand me? God has given us jurisdiction. Oh, my God. I got jurisdiction, baby. And I came to kick the devil off of God's property. Property. Glory be to God. I came to kick the devil off of the children of God because he trespassing. Glory be to God. He trespassing. Y'all know how the sign be out there on the yard. What it say? No trespassing. Oh my God. And if you go on them folks yard, they got something for you. Do you understand me? God said the devil been trespassing all over our property. He been trespassing all over our yard. He's skipping on some of y'all yard. Oh my God. He's skipping all over your yard, baby. He all out there on your yard talking about nan, nanny, boo, boo. Oh my God. He's skipping all over your yard and you sitting in the house shaking and scared. Oh my God. You sitting up in that house shaking and scared. God said, I have not given you the spirit of fear. Glory be to God. God said, what you doing? Why is you sitting in that house scared? And the devil is all over your territory. He all over your land. Oh my God. He all over your stuff. And you sitting in that house shaking in your boots. Oh my God. I hear the Lord say, you better rise up. Glory be to God. God said, I ain't give you the spirit of fear. Do you understand me? God said, what you scared of? Oh my God. Somebody come in on this line, baby. Say, I ain't never scared. Oh my God. Let the devil know, baby. Say, I ain't never scared. What you thought? Oh, my God. What you thought, devil? You thought because you trying to come in here and shine? You think because you trying to come in here and show off? You think I'm a bike up? Oh, no, baby. I'm finna really kick it in beast mode. Do you understand me? Beast mode. 24-7. I flip the switch. When I cut it on, I don't never turn it off. Oh, my God. Y'all know when you cut on a switch, you can't turn it on, then turn it back off. Turn it on, then turn it back off. Turn it on, then turn it back off. You will tear it up like that, baby. Oh my God, you will tear it up. When you hit that switch, you got to keep it on. Oh my God. When you hit that switch, baby, even if it's three o'clock in the morning, oh my God. Even if it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon, glory be to God. When you flip that switch, you turn on beast mode. Don't you turn it off. That's right, baby. Let the devil know, say, I ain't never scared. And you know why I ain't never scared? Because I got a whole kingdom backing me up. I got a whole kingdom standing behind me. Do you understand me? Tell the devil, say, I got a whole kingdom backing me up. Oh, my God. I got the Father. I got the Son. I got the Holy Spirit. I got a whole legion of angels. Oh, my God. And I ain't never alone, baby. Even when I'm by myself, I still ain't alone because I got the kingdom of God with me. Glory be to God. God said the kingdom of God is within you, baby. Glory be to God. Now we finna get ready to declare the blessings. Y'all ready, baby? Come in on this live. Say, we ready, Toya. Oh, my God. Come in on this live, baby. Say, we ready. Glory be to God. 
Glory be to God. I ain't got but a few folks up here this morning. Oh, my God. But I do my best work. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this line, baby. Say, we do our best work in the dark. Uh-huh. The devil try to shut us down. Uh-huh. He try to cut our reach. Oh, my God. He try to stop the people of God from hearing the word. But he ain't know I do my best work when I'm hidden. Oh, my God. I do my best work when I ain't got but a few people. Uh-huh. I don't need a crowd of folks to tell people about the goodness of God. Do you understand me? Oh my God, because I told you, baby, when you flip that switch, you got to turn on beast mode and you got to keep it on. Oh my God, you got to keep it on. Do you understand me? Because God told me, God said, when you're preaching this gospel, God said they're going to be some days where they're going to rock with you. Uh-huh. And they're going to be some days when they ain't rocking with you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God began to let my mind run over too. God said, you done lost a couple folks. Uh-huh. God brought them in, brought, God brought them into my mind and my spirit. He showed me. Uh-huh. God said, you done lost a couple folks. God said, but don't think, don't take no thought for it. God said, pray for them. Do you understand me? Divine ones, the ones we done lost, y'all pray for them. Oh my God. God said, y'all pray for them now. Cause God said, when they, when they leave from up under the covering, they gonna need some prayer. Glory be to God. You better not leave the covering of God, baby. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Because God said where you're at right now, it's not safe. You need something to cover you. You need something over you. Oh, my God. You need the spiritual covering. You need the spiritual bloodline over you, baby. Glory be to God. But what began to happen is the enemy start to whisper in people's ear. Do you understand me? The devil is a dirty fighter, baby. I told you how he worked. He come and whisper into the ears of the children of God. Oh, my God. He get them to turn against one another. Do you understand me? He put jealousy in their heart. Glory be to God. Don't let the devil use you, baby. When he come on the scene, when he come into your mind, when he start whispering in your ear, tell the devil, get out. Oh, my God. You got to get out of here because I'm not turning against my sister. Oh, my God. I'm not turning against my brother you got to get out of here the devil know that there is strength in numbers do you understand me he know that when we are unified he can't stop us oh my god if you take one little ant this is what the spirit this is what the spirit of god just dropped in my spirit if you take one little ant that ant can't do nothing do you understand me the power of that one ant is so insignificant it ain't nothing but God said, oh my God, when you take that one little ant and you put him in a colony, oh my God, you put him in a colony of ants. Y'all see how the ants work together? Oh my God. They work together and they carry their food on their backs. Uh huh. If y'all see them, if y'all notice anytime you look, oh my God, I hear the spirit of the living God. God said, if you notice every time you look at ants, you don't see one by itself, do you, baby? Oh my God. You see a whole colony of ants. Don't you understand me? Glory be to God. And God said, when you see them, God said, they be carrying their food on their backs. Uh huh. And God said, they go and they store up their food. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. They work together. Oh my God. That's where they get their strength at. Cause you, if you, if one little ant try to go out on his own baby, he'll be in a hot mess. If he try to go out on his own. Glory be to God. He got to stay in the colony. Oh my God. Cause the colony is where he get his strength. Glory be to God. And God said, hi, that's how crazy we look trying to leave the kingdom of God. We're trying to leave the kingdom of God and go do something on our own. And we're going to be in a mess because we're leaving the colony. Oh, my God. You got to stay in the colony. Do you understand me? You got to learn how to work together with your brothers and your sisters in Christ. Glory be to God. Because when you leave the kingdom, baby, you leave your protection. Don't you let nobody fool you. Oh, my God. When you leave the kingdom, you in a mess. Glory be to God. Stay under the covering of God. Do you understand me? We finna get ready to declare the blessings this morning, uh-huh. And I'm gonna let y'all go. We're gonna get ready to declare the blessings in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. God said, baby, you have the ability to bless, curse, heal, and destroy through the power of your mouth. Mmm. Through the power of your mouth. Do you understand that? God said life and death is in the power of your tongue. It's in your tongue, baby. What you been speaking? Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, what you been speaking? What you been saying? Because life and death is in the power of your own tongue. Glory be to God. 
You got the ability to bless yourself right now. Oh my God. You sitting there waiting on the blessings of God, but you don't know, baby, that you got a God on the inside of you. You better activate that champion that's on the inside of you. You better begin to open up your mouth. Oh my God. I'm walking heavy in him this morning. Glory be to God. You got to open up your mouth, baby, and you got to declare the blessings of God. You waiting on God to let the blessing fall out the sky, but God said you ain't know you got that thing in your mouth. It's in your mouth. Do you understand me? Life and death is in the power of your own tongue. It's in your mouth. Glory be to God. And you got to open up your mouth, baby. You got to declare in the face of the devil. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God said when you take control of your tongue, you take control of your destiny. Uh huh. There is something greater that God has for you, baby, and it's called your destiny. Oh, my God. There's a greater place that God has for you, and it's called your destiny. Oh, my God. Somebody come in on this live, baby, say, God has a destiny for me. Woo! Come in, baby. Don't worry about these folks. Come in on this live, baby. Declare your blessing. Tell the devil, say, God has a destiny for me. I can't sit around here with y'all. I can't be lollygagging around with these folks. God has a destiny for me. Glory be to God. God has a destiny for you. Do you understand me? God has a land that's flowing with milk and honey. Oh my God. He got a, oh my God. God has a space. Oh my God. He has a space on earth that is in count with his blessings. Oh my God. In count with the anointing of God. He got that place, baby. And he set that place aside just for you. Oh my God. But God said, you ain't walking up in there any kind of way. Do you understand me? You ain't finna skip off in that thing, raggedy, toe up, letting the devil beat you. You dragging your feet. You ain't got no peace. You ain't got no joy. You mad all the time. You snapping at everybody. Every time you turn around, you're sick. You ain't got no victory. Oh my God. God said, you can't skip off in that thing like that. You got to be free. I came to free you this morning, baby. You got to be free. Glory be to God, because God has a destiny for you. Oh, my God. And you got to declare the blessings. Every day you wake up, baby, you got to declare the blessings. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Let the devil know. Say, I am prosperous. Glory be to God. Let the devil know, baby. Say, I am prosperous. I might not have two pennies. <laughs> Glory be to God. Listen to me. I might not have two pennies to rub together. Glory be to God. But when you are a child of the living God, come on somebody. When you serve a God that sits on high, woo, you know that it, God can turn that thing around for you in a second. Do you understand me? All you got to do is declare that blessing. Oh my God. All you got to do is speak the word. Do you understand me? When you speak the word, heaven and earth will move for you. Glory be to God. Because you are a child of the king. Do you understand me? You were made in God's image and you were made in his likeness. Oh my God. And you just like your daddy, baby. Uh huh. I came to let you know you just like your spiritual daddy. Glory be to God. Your daddy opened up his mouth and he began to speak the world into the universe. Oh my God. He began to speak everything into existence. And because because you are made in the image, you are made in the likeness of God, you got the same power. Come in on this live, baby. Say, I am healthy. Woo God said, y'all been had some sickness. Uh-huh. You been had some sickness in your body. I'm talking to the young folks too. Uh-huh. But God said, it don't care. It'll hit the young folks. It'll hit the old folks. Do you understand me? It'll hit the babies. It'll hit the babies in the mother's womb. Glory be to God. I'm on a kingdom assignment this morning. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, y'all got to declare the blessing, baby. Come in on this live. Say, I am healthy. I'm healthy. You might be limping right now. Oh, my God. You might be on a ventilator right now. Oh, my God. You might have a family member that's on a ventilator right now. Glory be to God. But you better declare the blessings of the living God. Tell the devil. Say, I am healthy. My family is healthy. Oh, my God. I am healed. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. When you speak that over yourself and you're in sickness right now, you got sickness in your body. And when you begin to declare the blessings of God and you say, I am healed, I am healthy. The devil going to laugh at you. <laughs> he going to laugh at you. You going to hear that voice in your head say, huh, you crazy. 
You sitting up here about to cough your lungs out. Oh my God. You sitting up here, you can't, you, your back is so sore, you can't even bend over. You got a migraine out of this world. And you sitting up here talking about you healthy. You sit up here talking about you healed, but you got to declare the blessings anyway, baby. You got to see that thing in your mind. Because if you can see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. Glory be to God. Somebody comment, baby, say, I got to see it in my mind. I got to see it in my mind because I know if I can see it in my mind, if I can mentally see myself with this stuff, I can have it. Glory be to God. And not only can you mentally see yourself with it, but you got to feel it. Oh, my God. You got to feel that thing down in your bones. Do you understand me? You got to feel that thing all over your body. Glory be to God. You can't tell me I ain't got my stuff. You can look at me like you crazy. All you want to. I already got my stuff. Divine ones, I told y'all, you better not let the devil get your stuff. You sit up there and act crazy, don't get your stuff. I'm going to get it. Glory be to God. You better get your stuff. I don't care. We might be in the pandemic. We might be in the crisis. Uh huh. We might be in the COVID-19. But I hear the Lord say, I have not forgotten my promise. All of the promises of God are yes and amen. And God said, baby, it is given unto you. It is done for you according to your faith. Declare the blessing. Listen to me, y'all. All throughout your day to day, declare the blessing of God. They might be looking at you like you crazy, but you better keep on declaring the blessing of God. Do you understand me? All throughout your day. Oh, my God. I hear the Lord say, women of God, tell the devil. Say, I am a queen. Oh, you ain't know I am a queen, baby. Women of God, come in on this life. Oh, my God. Every single woman under the sound of my voice, you better use them sanctified hands. Oh, my God. You better come in on this lie. Don't you be in here looking and you ain't coming nothing. Do you understand me? You better not let that blessing pass you by. Because God said when you come in on this lie, baby, you touching and agreeing with me. And the Bible says that there is power in agreements. The devil don't want you to agree. Uh huh. He want to keep you in bondage. He want to keep you in pride. Oh, my God. Because he know that when you let that pride down, uh uh-huh, when you come out of them prideful ways, oh my God, and you begin to touch and agree with the people of God, he know God going to move for you. That's right. All my men, my men of God, come in on this line say, I am a king. Ooh. I am a king, baby. Tell the devil. So you got to get up off of me. You got to get up off of me. You going to have to release this pressure up off of me because I am a king. What you think God was talking about? God said, I am the king of kings. Glory be to God. He's the king of kings. Do you understand me? You are a king. You are queens. That's what God meant, baby. When he said, I am the king of kings. Glory be to God. Come in on this lie, baby. Declare the blessings of God. Keep on declaring the blessings of God, baby. That's right. And all throughout your day, every time you look in your mirror, you tell yourself, I am a queen. Glory be to God. Tell the devil. So you got to get up off of me. You got to get up off of me. All this pressure you've been throwing on me. You finna get this pressure thrown back on you. Oh, yes. You about to get all this pressure. Glory be to God. Because I'm declaring the blessings of God this morning. I am a queen. I am a child of God. And devil, you got to get off of me. You got to get off of my finances. You got to get out of my body right now. You got to get out of my mind right now. Glory be to God. Come in on this live, baby. Say, I am worthy. Woo! I am worthy, devil. Glory be to God. Somebody comment, baby. Let the devil know. I'm finna get ready to let y'all go, but I want y'all to declare these blessings, baby. Comment on this live. Say, I am worthy. Mmm. I deserve good things. Then what you got to tell yourself. Uh-huh. I'm saying I, but I'm talking about you. Then what you got to tell yourself. You got to go look in that mirror. And you got to go tell yourself. I deserve good things. Mmm. Glory be to God. I deserve good things because I am a child of God. I am worthy of good things. Glory be to God. I am worthy of wealth. I am worthy of success. Mm-hmm. Good things are supposed to happen to me. 
glory be to God. That's what you got to tell the devil, baby. Let him know that good things are supposed to happen to me. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am loved. I am wealthy. I am worthy. Oh, my God. I am worthy of love. Uh Uh-huh. Because how many of y'all know, baby, sometimes you can have somebody that's trying to love you and you rejecting them folks' love because you don't even believe you worthy of love. I came to tell you today, you worthy. Do you understand me? I don't care what you did. Oh, my God. I don't care where you been. I don't care where. Oh, my God. God said, I will take your sins, baby, and I will throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. God said, I will remember them no more. You worthy, baby. And don't you let nobody tell you no difference. Glory be to God. Declare the blessings. Do you understand me? Declare the blessings. They're going to be looking at you like you crazy. But you better declare the blessings. Oh, my God. Tell the devil. I am wealthy. I might be shopping in Family Dollar. Okay. Glory be to God. I might be shopping in Walmart. Glory be to God. But guess what? I am wealthy. Because I know that in order for me to attract wealth, I got to have a wealth mindset. Ooh, somebody comment on this live, baby. Say a wealth mindset. Ooh, you got to get that thing in your mind first. Uh Uh-huh. See, God said where you mess up at, you want to go put your hands on it first. You want to go try to work for it first. And that's why you keep falling on your face. That's why you keep failing. Because you trying to go do it in the physical first. But God said everything starts in the spirit. Do you understand me? It starts in the spiritual realm first. And then it manifests. Oh my God. It manifests itself into the physical. Everything you looking at right now. Where you think it came from? God said it came from the spiritual. That phone you holding in your hand right now. Somebody somebody saw that phone in their spirit first. They imagine that phone in their minds first. Oh, my God. And because they saw that phone in their mind, now you holding it in your hand. Oh, my God. And God said, you got somebody blessing in your mind right now. Oh, my God. God said, y'all got inventions in y'all mind right now. Do you understand me? Baby, don't you know you ain't but one idea away from changing your whole life. Oh, my God. You one idea away from changing the whole trajectory of your life. You one idea away, baby. From making your children millionaires. Oh my God. God said it don't take but one idea. Do you understand me? But we got to get our minds right. We got to let God transform us by the renewing of our minds. Glory be to God. New mindset. Do you understand me? I declare and I decree every single person under the sound of my voice. Every single person that's going to watch this live in the future on the replay. I declare and I decree that the Lord is giving you a new mindset. He's giving you a new mindset right now, baby. He's transforming your mind. He's transforming the way you think. Oh, my God. God finna get ready to give you an idea, baby. Oh, my God. I prophesy that over every single person right now under the sound of my voice. Glory be to God. I prophesy that over you. Do you understand me? God finna get ready to give you an idea that finna change your whole life. Comment, baby. Don't y'all play around with this. Do you understand me? You better not let it. You sit up there and play crazy if you want to. Don't you let the blessing pass you by. Comment on this live. Say, I receive it. Because I don't care how much God try to give you something. If you keep sitting up there like this, you ain't getting nothing. They can be giving out blessings all around you. But you sitting back there in the corner like this in the spirit. God said, you ain't going to get nothing. Closed mouths don't get fed. Glory be to God. If you need God, you better open up your mouth. Oh, my God. You better use them sanctified hands. Oh, my God. You better comment on this live. Say, I receive it. Oh, my God. I receive it, Toya, in the name of Jesus. God finna get ready to give you an idea, baby. And this idea gonna change your whole life. Oh, my God. Because you've been praying for God to send the money. You've been praying for God to send the wealth and the abundance. But God said, I don't do it like that, baby. God said, I'm going to give you a seed. Do you understand me? When you pray for a tree, God said, I don't give you the tree. I give you the seed. Oh, my God. When you pray for money, baby, God don't give you the money. He give you an idea. Oh, my God. God said, I give you an idea. And God said, you got to water that seed. Do you understand me? How do I water it, Toya? You water it with hard work, baby. When God give you that idea, you got to get to work. Oh, my God. That's the problem. 
problem. We don't want to get to work. Oh my God. We want everything to fall in our lap because we a pop, pop, bam generation. We a microwave generation, but we don't know God don't work like that. God got to put you in the slow cooker. Glory be to God. God got to put you in the oven, baby. He don't work with the microwave. Glory be to God. Because God said when you get that thing out the microwave, you ain't ready for it. Oh, my God. When you get it too quick, God said you will lose it. Glory be to God. God said I got to put you in the oven. Uh-huh. I got to put you in the oven. And I got to turn the heat on high. Glory be to God. I got to turn the heat on high. I got to let the devil turn the knob. Glory be to God. I got to let the devil turn the knob on you. Oh, my God. God said the devil got y'all in the furnace. Oh, my God. God said he done turned the knob on high. Glory be to God. God said your situation, your circumstance, and God said that stuff is boiling. Oh my God. It's boiling on you. You about to, oh my God. God said you about to lose it. Oh my God. It's coming all the way up to the top. God said you about to lose it. Oh my God. Look at me like you crazy if you want to. God said you about to lose it. Uh huh. You about to lose it because it's coming all the way up to the top. The devil done put so much on you, you just can't take it no more. Glory be to God. You about to burst because you just can't take it no more. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say, that's how I make you. Uh huh. God said, that's where you get made at. Do you understand me? You get made while you're in the oven. Oh my God. You get made while you're in the furnace. Do you understand me? When the devil turn up the heat, glory be to God. When he take his hand and he put it on the knob and he turn up the heat, glory be to God. God said, y'all better understand, baby. I got my hand on the thermostat. Glory be to God. I'm preaching this thing. Do you understand me? God said he got his hand on the thermostat, baby. And God said he ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. Glory be to God. Woo, somebody ought to be rejoicing. Oh, my God. I know it's early in the morning, baby, but I want you to rejoice. Do you understand me? Because God said he got his hand on the thermostat. Oh, my God. God said he, he got his hand on the devil. God said the devil wreaking havoc over you, but God said he on a leash. Do you understand me? God said he got the devil on the leash, and he can only do what God will allow him to do. And you better know, baby, you better understand that it is all for the glory of God. You better know God going to get the glory out of this thing. Oh, my God. God going to get the glory out of your life oh my god that problem you dealing with right now that circumstance that think it got control over you tell your problem say god gonna get the glory out of this Woo! jesus because i'm declaring the blessings oh my god i'm declaring the blessings of god do you understand me baby god gonna get the glory out of this uh-huh even in the midst of the pandemic i hear the lord say i'm gonna get my glory oh my god god gonna get the glory out of this Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. This is God speaking. God says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Oh my God. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper. Oh my God. Somebody comment on this live, baby. Oh, I wish I could get up and run and heal. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say it shall prosper. Oh my God. God said, when I open up my mouth, do you understand me? When I open up my mouth and when I speak a word, God said, my word going to hit the target. Glory be to God. It gonna hit the target. Do you understand me? I see the Lord. Oh my God. I see the angels in heaven. I see the angels in heaven. God said, they, oh my God. God said, they packing them up. Do you understand me? They packing up the blessings. Glory be to God. They packing up the missiles for you. Oh my God. God said, they finna get ready to shoot. Do you understand me, baby? They finna get ready to shoot, baby. Oh my God. They shoot not your blessing right now. Oh, my God. But God said the only one that going to get the blessing. Woo, it ain't going to go to everybody. Do you understand me? God said the only one that going to get the blessing is the ones that open up their mouth. Oh, my God. The ones that recognize that they are children of the king. Oh, my God. The ones that recognize that they ain't got to go tit for tat with the devil. Oh, my God. They ain't got to go back and forth with the devil. They ain't got to get in the ring with the devil. All they got to do is kick back. Oh, my God. All they got to do is kick back and start declaring the blessing blessings oh my god all they gotta do is kick back and start saying you know what devil uh-huh i am more than a conqueror oh my god greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world glory be to god the Lord shall fight for me. Oh, my God. Because my God said vengeance is mine. Uh-huh. God said I will repay. Do you understand me? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God speaking to y'all this morning. Mm, God said he going to give you an idea. Uh-huh. This idea, 
I hear, I hear it in the spirit. Oh my God. It's a prophecy for the people of God on this morning. Glory be to God. God said this ideal baby. It's going to change your whole life. Mm, it's going to change your life. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, get your notebooks. Oh my God. Listen to me. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, get your notebooks. Oh my God. Cause God said, when I give you this idea, you're going to have to hurry up and write it down. Oh my God. God said, you're going to have to hurry up. Somebody comment on this live, baby said, put it on paper. Oh my God. You're going to have to put this thing on paper. Do you understand me? Cause the Bible says that the devil, he is a devourer. Oh my God. He comes to kill, steal and destroy. He going to try to steal that idea that God's going to get ready to give you, but you better have your pen and your paper ready, but you better have it beside your bed. Cause God said for some of y'all, he going to speak to y'all in the midnight hour. Oh my God. For some of y'all, baby, you're going to find yourself waking up at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And God said, that's the hour that I'm going to speak to you. Glory be to God. You better have your notebook. Do you understand me? You better be like blues clues, handy dandy notebook. Glory be to God. You better have that notebook, baby. Because God said, when I speak, he ain't playing when he opened up his mouth. Oh my God. God said, he don't speak no vain words. Do you understand me? God said, I am not like man that I should lie. Neither am I the son of man that I should repent. Glory be to God. When I speak a word, you better believe that's law. Oh my God. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, mm, it shall accomplish that which I please. Oh my God. It's going to accomplish, baby. God said, as the rain come down from heaven and water the earth. Oh my God. God says, so shall my word be. Oh my God. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Oh my God. God finna get ready to speak some things over your life, baby. Do you understand me? God finna get ready to speak a word over your life. And God said, it don't take but one word. I can speak one word over you. And God said, it'll change your whole life. Oh my God. I can speak one word over you, baby. Glory be to God. And the devil got to back up off of you. Do you understand me? He got to leave you alone. Now he going to come back. Oh my God. But God said, this is your season. Do you understand me? Somebody comment on this live, baby. Say, this is my season. Oh my God. I've been watching everybody else get blessed. Oh my God. I've been watching everybody else go before me. But I hear the Lord say, you got to declare the blessing. Tell the devil, this is my season. Oh my God. This is my time. Let me tell you something. God said, when it's your season, ooh, baby, when it's your time, can't no devil in hell stop you. Oh, my God. Can't no devil stop you. Can't no demon stop you. Do you understand me? God said, when it's your time, baby, they got to move out of your way. Oh, my God. Everything that done had you bound. Oh, my God. Everything that done had you captive. God said, when he say go. Ooh, I finna let y'all go, baby, but the spirit all on me. Do you understand me? Come in on this live, baby. Say, go. Ooh, God said, go. When God say, go in the spirit, baby, you better take off. Do you understand me? You better kick that thing in beast mode, baby. You better take off. Cause if God said, go, God got you, baby. Ooh, and oh, to be kept by Jesus. Oh my God. It ain't like when man tell you they got you. Oh my God. It ain't like when that woman tell you she got you. Oh my God. When God say go, God said, I got your back. Glory be to God. And God said, I wish a devil would rise up. Oh my God. I wish somebody would try to stop you. God said, I blow them folks out the water. Cause God said he ain't going to let nobody get in the way of his plans. Do you understand me? He ain't going to let nobody get in the way of his purpose. Glory be to God. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but the Lord's purpose shall prevail. Oh my God. God said, my purpose going to win, baby. I wish the devil would. Oh my God. I hear the spirit of the living God say, I wish the devil would jump. Do you understand me? God said, wherever he jump at, that's where he going to get laid down. It's glory be to God. Cause it's time for you to kick it in beast mode. What you waiting on? Oh my God. What you scared of? God done told you right here. Oh my God. God said, it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. God said, when I said that word over you, when I spoke that word over you, when I give you that idea, and then I tell you to go, God said, you better give it everything you got. Do you understand me, baby? You got to make haste. You got to get in a hurry. I hear the Lord say, you got to give it everything you got. You got to kick it in full-fledged beast mode. Glory be to God. Stop waiting 
on the opportunity. I hear the Lord say, this is what God is speaking for somebody on this live right now. God said, you've been waiting on an opportunity. Oh my God. You've been waiting on them to call you. Oh my God. You've been waiting on them to open up the door of opportunity for you. I hear the Lord say, stop waiting. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say, build a door. Glory be to God. Build your door. Because let me tell you something, baby. You sit around and keep waiting on the devil to give you an opportunity. You ain't never going to get it. Oh, my God. You ain't never going to get it. Do you understand me? You're going to have to kick this thing in beast mode, baby. You're going to have to build you a door. Stop waiting on the devil to open up the door for you. Because he going to pick everybody else before he pick you. He going to pick all over you. You going to be the last pick. You are the last round draft pick. You the last one. And you still sitting there waiting on the devil to call you. You still sitting there waiting on your chance. Waiting on your opportunity. Oh, Lord, please let it be me. God, so you better get up and build that door. What you waiting on? I have not given you the spirit of fear. People ain't going to give you the opportunity to be great. Do you understand me? They not going to give you the opportunity to be awesome, to be successful. You're going to have to make your opportunity. You're going to have to build your own legacy. Do you understand me? Every day. And God said, when you build his legacy, everybody can't do it. Because some of these folks want something to be falling in their lap. They want it to fall out the sky in their hand and knock them upside the head. But God said it don't work like that. Do you understand me? You got to build this thing, baby. And you got to build it with blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, my God. I'm sweating right now. Do you understand me? Sometimes I have to cry. Oh, my God. Sometimes the devil beat on me so bad, I start shedding blood. Oh, my God. But every time I do, baby, do you understand me? I keep on going. I keep on going because I know I'm making my payments. I'm making my payment for greatness. Oh my God. Because you can't qualify for greatness until you put in the blood, the sweat, and the tears. Glory be to God. Once you done put in that blood, you done shed that blood. Oh my God. When you done sweated a couple times, when you done cried tears, oh my God. When you done lost a couple folks that said they were going to be with you to the end and they dropped out on you, God said, then you qualify. Oh my God. Then you qualify for greatness. Because God said, don't worry about who you lost. Because God said, when you build that door and you walk through it, God said, I got a new blessing for you. Oh my God. Everything that you lost, God said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Oh my God. Somebody comment, baby. I'm going to let y'all go for real this time now. Comment on this line. Say double for my trouble. Ooh. I'm getting double for my trouble, devil. So everything you take from me, everything you try to snatch out of my hand, my God going to give me double for my trouble. Glory be to God. God said, y'all done lost houses. Y'all done lost cars. Y'all done lost family members. Oh, my God. But I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to give you double for your trouble. God said, y'all been having a Job experience. The devil been taking everything he can from you. Glory be to God. He been attacking your body with sickness. But I hear the Lord say, I'm finna give you double for your trouble. When y'all get off this live today. I want y'all to make a post. Oh, my God. Y'all know I don't do this all the time. But when I tell you to do it, it's because God finna get ready to do something. Oh, my God. When you get off of this live, baby, and I hear the Lord say it ain't gender specific. I'm talking to the men and the women of God. Do you understand me? I hear the Lord say when you get off this live today, make a post and tag me in it. Because when you tag me in that thing, baby, I'm going to touch and agree with you in the spirit that God is going to give you double for your trouble. Oh, my God. When you get off this live today, baby, make that post. Oh, my God. Say double for my trouble. Ooh, Jesus. Glory be to God. God going to give you double, baby. Ooh, somebody ought to be happy now. Everything. Think about everything you done lost. Oh, my God. Think about everything the devil done snatched out your hand. Oh, my God. Every opportunity that slipped through your fingers. Oh, my God. God said y'all done lost people. Y'all done lost opportunities. Oh, my God. You done lost all kinds. God said he finna give you double, baby. Oh, my God. He finna give you double for your trouble. Glory be to God. We done declared the blessing this morning. We done declared the blessing. And when we get off this live, we still going to be declaring the blessing of God all over the devil's heads. Because he don't like it when you open up your mouth. He don't like it when you declare the blessings of God. He wants you to sit there quiet like a knot on a log. He don't want you to say nothing. Oh, my God. Because he know when you open up your mouth, you just like God. So shall my word be. That going forth out of my mouth. Guess what? When I speak a word, I ain't coming to play. I'm just like my daddy. I'm made in the image and the likeness of God. And when I speak a word, it's going to come to pass. Glory be to God. That's what you got to tell the devil. Double for my trouble. You got to give me double. 
Everything you done took from me. Everything you done stole from me. You got to get your filthy hands off of my stuff. And you got to give me double for my trouble. Glory be to God. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Oh my God. And I don't care if I ain't got two folks up here. Do you understand me? I got to do what God told me to do. Every single morning, I'm going to be right here. Oh my God. I might look crazy up here some mornings, but every single morning, I'm going to be right here. Do you understand me? Join me if you can, baby. But if y'all don't join me, I'm going to be up here preaching to my telephone. Oh my God. I be preaching to my dog. That's who I used to preach to before I had anybody to preach to. I used to preach to my chihuahua. Her name is Munchie. I used to preach to her all the time. Oh my God. It ain't a thing. Oh my God. I preach to the wall. Oh my God. I go outside and preach to the birds. Do you understand me? And I hear the spirit of the living God say, whatever he done gifted you to do, don't you wait on no crowd. Oh my God. God said, you got to do this thing anyway. God said, don't worry about the folk. The folks going to show up, but you got to work the gift. Oh my God. You got to stay in the gift because you got to know that God blessed the gift. Do you understand me? God blessed your gift. See, the devil want to make you think because it ain't popping off as soon as you jump in it. You're going to have to go do something else. The devil is a lie. That's how you miss your blessing. When you plant a seed, you can't go dig it up out the ground and you ain't even gave it time to grow. Glory be to God. You got to give it time to grow. You got to give it time to form the roots. You're going to go down there and dig it up because you think ain't nothing growing. And you done messed up your harvest. I ain't going nowhere. Do you understand me? I don't care if it don't look like ain't nothing coming out this ground. I ain't moving my seed. I'm staying right here. Glory be to God. I'm staying right here. Because I know it's coming. Because God told me. And God is telling you. He don't speak vain words, baby. He's not that type of God. He don't play by his word. Glory be to God. So if y'all are up in the morning, y'all come back and join me for morning glory. I don't, I'm not doing lives at night right now because I'm coaching at night right now. So if you would like, I'm a, I'm a certified life coach. So if you would like to book a session, inbox me and I will gladly send you the link so you can book a session with me one-on-one. -on -one. If you would like to sign up for my monthly mentorship program, inbox me and I can send you the link for that to sign up for the monthly mentorship program. I want you all to listen to an episode of my podcast. It's called Divine Destiny with Latoya. One of my divine ones, y'all drop that in the comments for me, please. For my new people, if you're new, if this is your first time watching, make sure you comment on this live and let me know that you're a first time watcher and let me know where you're watching from. I love to see new people come on. I love to see God reaching it. I love to see the word of God reaching new people every day. There's somebody new every day. God always got somebody. Glory be to God. And I would like to invite you to my group and join my Facebook group. It's called The Divine Ones. And I want you to go to um, the podcast app on your iPhone. You can go to Spotify or you can go to iTunes and download my podcast. It's called Divine Destiny with Latoya. Okay. I want y'all to keep feeding yourself. Keep feeding yourself with the word of God. And welcome, welcome, welcome to every single person that's new. That's new to the lives. Every single person that's new, welcome. And I pray that you will come back and you will join me in the mornings. I am live every morning at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, okay? Every Monday through Friday, I am live. 4.30 Central Time. 4.30 a.m. Central Time. So if y'all can get up, you know, even if you just set your timer and, and, and wake up just to turn on the live and lay back down, that's fine too. Because you got a part of your mind that don't never go to sleep. It's always listening. And that's called your subconscious mind. Now I got to tell y'all, if this is your first time watching, now I am country. Now I'm a little country because I'm from Blakely, Georgia. So I'm very country. I got to be who God called me to be. Now I can't try to be like nobody else. I got to work my gift, stay in my own little lane, be who God called me to be. I'm just wrong and I'm just real. And I just thank every, every one of you, every one of you that came and joined us on the live this morning. And I want to encourage you to come back in the morning. And I would also like to encourage you to join my monthly mentorship program because we do group coaching sessions uh, through Zoom and through the private Facebook book, private Facebook group. <laughs> we do... Uh, weekly group coaching sessions on the weekends okay so y'all can catch me for some nightly lives on the weekends when you join the mentorship program okay so 
if you listen to the podcast, y'all know what I always tell y'all at the end of the podcast. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. With God, all things are possible. I want y'all to stay encouraged. I want y'all to stay blessed. I want you to continue to declare the blessings of God over your life. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. When you get off of this live, remember, make that post. Tag me. My Facebook name is Latoya O'Keele. If you have not gone to my personal profile, make sure you go hit that name up there. Hit that picture up there and go to my personal profile. Make sure you hit follow, okay? Facebook cut you off at 5,000 friends, y'all. So I can't accept any more friends, but everything on my page is public. So when you follow me, you're going to see everything that my friends would see, okay? Because everything on my page is public. Everything I do is for the people of God. I ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> it's all public. So I, c I can't accept any more friends, but y'all can follow me and you can turn your notifications on C first so you can get direct notifications when I go live. Okay. Cause I want y'all to, I want y'all to be taking in the word. I want you to be soaking in the word like a sponge, just soak it in and watch how God changed your life. Cause he did it for me. He changed me. He changed my life. I was severely introverted. I never, I never saw myself talking to people like I'm talking right now. Never. I told God, I know what you're telling me I'm going to do. I know what you're telling me my purpose is. But uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But look at God. God going to get his way. And God let me know. God said, if you don't do it, God said, you got a daughter. And God said, she going to do it. But God said, somebody going to do it. Some God always got somebody that gonna, gonna, gonna listen to his word and they gonna do what he told them to do. If you don't do it, that responsibility gonna fall on your children, but it gonna fall on somebody. God gonna have somebody. But why would you let your work be passed on to somebody else when God has called you to do it? You got, you'll miss your blessing. If God got to pass your work on to somebody else, you will miss your blessing. So I want you to get your blessing and I want you to answer the call when God calls you. And it may not be ministry. That's fine. That's fine. As a matter of fact, if it's not ministry, it's, it's probably better for you if it's not ministry. Because for some of you, God called you to be a teacher. For some of you, your calling is to be a police officer. For some of you, your calling is to work with the elderly. For some of you, your calling is in cosmetics. For some of you, your calling may be in, uh, in music. You may be gifted at playing the guitar, gifted at playing the key, the keyboard, gifted at playing the piano, gifted at playing the organ, whatever. God gave many different gifts. We all have different gifts and we are to use our gifts to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. The glory is in all of us. There is nobody that's more special than the other one. It ain't that special about me. Please don't think it's something special about me, baby. Because it ain't nothing special about me. Do you understand me? All I did was answer the call. That's all I did. I said, God, I stopped running. I'm not running no more. I answered the call. Okay, you gave me these gifts. Okay, I'm finna use these gifts for the glory of God. That's all I did. And that's what I want you to do. Because when you use your gifts, you find your sense of significance. That's what makes you significant. That's why you feel like, what's so special about me? What's supposed to separate me from everybody else? Your gift. The gift that God placed on the inside of you. That's what separates you from everybody else. That's what gives you your sense of significance. Your gift. It's in your gift. So y'all book that session with me. If you we can we so we can do this one-on-one. -on -one. We can we can work on it one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, because it's time for you to answer the call. But what's holding you back? What's keeping you from doing it? Do you not have the support that you need? What's holding you back? What's keeping you from walking in your calling? What's keeping you from answering the call? I want y'all to think about that today. What's keeping me? What's stopping me? Why did I pause? Be thinking about that. And when you get off this live, I want you to make a post. Even if you are a first time watcher, you might not know me from a can of paint. <laughs> You might not know me from a can of paint. You might have just scrolled across this live. Who is this black girl up here preaching? Who is this? You might not know me from a can of paint. But I want you to step out on faith. And I want you to make that post. 
And I want you to tell the devil, double for my trouble. And I want you to tag me, tag me in that post so I can agree with you in the spirit. So I can virtually touch and agree with you and declare the blessing of God over your life. Double for your trouble. Glory be to God. Wildflower, don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Because God said he knew coronavirus was coming. Oh, my God. It can't stop what God got for your life. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say coronavirus can't stop what he got for your life, wildflower. Glory be to God. The blessings of God are still getting ready to locate you. And I especially want you, wildflower, when you get off this live, make a post and tag me in it. I want you to say I'm getting double for my trouble. See, see, the enemy done put some trouble on you right now. You've been had to go through this coronavirus season. You've been had to go through this COVID-19 season, this pandemic season. But God said everything that you lost, everything the devil thought that he stopped from coming to you, God is giving you double. He's giving you double for your trouble. Glory be to God. Jesus. God is so good, y'all. I'm trying to let y'all go. God is so good. Oh, my God. God is so good. He's faithful. He's merciful. He's graceful. Glory be to God. He's gracious. He gives us chance after chance. Oh, my God. Even when we don't deserve it. Glory be to God. He give us chance after chance after chance. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh my God. You better rejoice and you better be glad in it. Oh my God. I feel the spirit of the living God. Oh my God. I feel the spirit of the living God down in my soul. Oh my God. My soul is happy. Do you understand me? Because I was in the trenches. Oh my God. You looking at a miracle. Do you understand me? Oh my God. You looking at a miracle. Oh my God. I am proof, baby, that God still works miracles every day. Glory be to God. Because the devil hadn't threw me away. Do you understand me? He hadn't threw me away. Glory be to God. He hadn't put me in the furnace. He locked the door and he threw away the key. Oh my God. But God reached in. Glory be to God. God sent his spirit in to lift up a standard. Glory be to God. And he snatched me out the hands of the devil. And God brought me back again. Do you understand me? He brought me back from the ashes. That's why I preach like I do, baby. That's why I preach with the fire from on high. Glory be to God. Because God said, I done brought you back from the fire. Oh, my God. I spent enough time in the fire, baby. That's why I can give y'all the fire. Oh, my God. That's why I can give you the fire, baby. Because I spent long. Oh, my God. I spent a long time in that fire. The devil had not burnt me up. Oh my God, he had to burnt me up. Do you understand me? But God showed me where the fire did not consume me. Glory be to God. And God said, the devil got y'all in the fire, baby, but this fire will not consume you because the Lord is giving you double. I'm proof. Do you understand me? I am a witness. I am proof. I am evidence that God will give you double for your trouble. Oh my God. God will not withhold any good thing from you. If you will sell out. Glory be to God. I had to sell out, baby. I had a lot of stuff in my hand. Do you understand me? I had all kind of stuff in my hand. Glory be to God. I was holding on to all kind of stuff. I had all this stuff in my hand and God began to speak to me. Oh my God. God said, I need you to drop it. Glory be to God. God said, I need you to drop that stuff. What you got in your hand. God said, I need you to release it right now. Oh my God. God said, I need you to come run for me. Oh my God. I began to tell God, but, but God said, but nothing. Oh my God. God said, but nothing. God knew you were going to come, baby. God knew you were going to come and God knew you were going to need a word. Oh my God. God knew somebody was going to have to speak a word over your soul. Glory be to God. That's why he told me to drop it. Oh, my God. God said, drop them relationships. Oh, my God. God said, drop that job. Oh, my God. God said, drop your religion. I need you to come out of religion. Glory be to God. God said, I need you to be not conformed to the image of this world, but I need you to be transformed, woman of God. God going to transform y'all by the renewing of your mind. But you got to drop that stuff. You running with all that stuff in your hand and God telling you to drop it. Let it go. Let it go. Mm. When you drop what you got in your hand, 
I hear the spirit of the living God say, when you drop what you got in your hand, God said, I'm going to give you what I got in my hand. Oh my God. When you drop what you got in your hand, God is going to give you what he got in his hand. The Bible says in his hand, there are many blessings. Glory be to God. In his hands, there are many miracles. There are many blessings for you, but you got to drop what you got in your hand. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. This has been Latoya O'Kill, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I love you with a divine love and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Glory be to God. I'll see y'all back here in the morning for morning glory.